Hi, and welcome to A Different Spirit Radio Show. I am your host, Divine. Thank you so much for listening. I say today, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. Blessed be his glorious name and kingdom. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just wanted to share a word, a short word that the Lord um, had put in my spirit the other day. And in my prayer time, when I woke up uh, last week, I just heard this scripture. And it comes from Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. And it says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many of you all know the righteous remnant out there? How many of you all know that God is still on his throne? He still reigns. He still rules. He's still God almighty. He's still, oh God, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be your glorious name. Oh, Jesus, we just give you praise. It's just when I think about the greatness, the greatness, oh, my God, of our God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I, I just, I, I, oh, my Lord, Jesus, it's, there's no words. There's no words to express. There's no words to articulate the greatness of our God. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why sometimes I just really can't describe him. There's no words to describe him. There's no words to magnify him. Glory be to God. It's no words. There's no words in the, in the English language to articulate who he really is. So sometimes I just get stumbled. I, I can't think of any words. Hey, I can't think of any words to explain just how awesome he is. And I stand in awe of him today. I stand in awe of our God, the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, the God of all gods. And I'm going to give you another scripture. And share uh, something else and then I will be done. The Lord also took me to Isaiah chapter 45 verse 5. It says, I am the Lord and there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. I will strengthen you though you have not acknowledged me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Thank you, Jesus. I just wanted to share this brief story. My husband and I had went to the store to pick up some items last week. And the lady behind me, she was asking the cashier, like, you know, are you guys going to get any more food in I mean what are we going to do and she was like you could just look at her face and just see so much anxiety and just see panic panic all over her and she said I'm afraid I'm scared I said to her I said you know Jesus right and she sarcastically said of course I know him I said well hey if you know him, then you believe his word. If you know him, hallelujah, you'll stand on what he said. And one of the scriptures is, I've been young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. That's Psalm 37. I'm trying to keep this, this uh, microphone away from my mouth because I do have a big mouth. I truly do. And it is what it is. And it's going to be what it's going to be. And then I told her, I said. The Bible says a thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but none shall come nigh thee. Our lives and times are in his hands. And so you got people, they're full of lip service. They've been reading the word, but they don't believe the word. But as I've been hearing a lot of the remnant believers and the remnant men and women of God say. This is the time right now 
where you have to stand on, on, on God's word. What's, what's really in you is, is what's coming out of you. He's separating the wheat from the tares. And so if you believe what God says, then you stand on what he says. Yes, fear. The enemy brings fear. He will try to bring doubt. He will try to speak all this negativity uh, to your, your, your spirit. He'll make you, you'll start coughing and say, oh my God, I got, you know, but the Bible says bring every thought into captivity. We don't come into agreement with what Satan says and exempts. We come into agreement with what, about what God said about our lives and about our situation. There was a, um, and let me just say this, since the days of John the Baptist up until now, the kingdom of God suffers violent and the violent violence and the violent take it by force. I'm going to say that again. Since the days of John the Baptist up until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence take it by force. I've been told I had a violent anointing, but because see, you don't know the attacks has been on my life. Sometimes, you know, when I was a younger believer, I see people hollering and screaming and doing all type of stuff. And some of it is religiosity. Some of it is, re is uh, religious spirit. But some people have really been through some stuff. The enemy has tried to kill them. Glory be to God. The enemy has tried to kill people, destroy people and their families. And so the violence is not toward the people, but it's toward Hasatan, Satan and his imps. Glory be to God. So I just want to encourage you today. If you're on the Lord's side, stand up today. Show some signs today. And again, we come into agreement with what God said. There was a part in my play, my gospel musical stage play that we performed years ago. But it was one uh, scene where it says, the name of it was what did God say? And it like goes on to to like say they said this or they said that the doctor said this the, or whoever said that my mom, my, whoever. But what did God say about your situation today? That's what we're standing on. And that's what we, what we believe on Jesus. Yeshua, the solid rock. I stand all other ground. is sinking sand. Jesus really got to be your foundation in this hour. It's easy to say it, but can you walk it out? Can you live this thing? Can you believe it? Is it action or is it just talk? Glory be to God. I'm telling you the truth. My belief in God's word and my belief in the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Jacob is not predicated on what I see. What I hear, what I feel, or what I might be going through. I got to stand on the word of God. I don't care how many darts, fiery darts been thrown my way or is thrown my way. I believe what God says. The scripture said, whose report will you believe? And that's the question. I want to pose to everyone that's listening to my voice today. Whose report will you believe? Glory be to God. I chose to believe God's report. I chose, hallelujah, to accept the blessing and not the curse. And, you know, the media has a job to do. The governor, the mayor, the government officials, they have a job to do. The president is certain things they have to say and certain things they have to do. But I still stand on the word of God. The scripture says forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but your words will by no means pass away. At the end of the day and night, I believe God's report. How about you? How about you? Whose report are you going to believe? Lord, we believe your report. We believe 
that you are a great God. The God that answers by fire. The God that part the Red Sea. The God that works miracle signs and wonders. Good God Almighty, I give you glory in this place. Hallelujah. All right. I feel myself going on into another message, but I'll save that message until next time. I'm holding you up, righteous remnant. I'm holding you up in prayers. I'm holding you up. Those who are listening to my voice in this message, I'm asking a special protection in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over our president, over our vice president, over our leaders, over the righteous remnant, remnant, the men and women of God on the front lines, the household of faith. Glory be to God. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over the first responders and all of our health care workers, all those that's been affected by this virus. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every person. And I send your word to heal your people. And I ask you to renew, revive, restore, quicken mortal bodies right now. Glory be to God. I'm reminded of Psalm 46 that says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Hey, glory. I heard the pastor's been saying this week, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. Then you'll hear from heaven and he'll heal the land. Glory be to God. So this message is for the righteous remnant. God's people. God's people, the ones that know that the Bible says, oh, so many scriptures are going through my head right now. The effective, sincere, hot, fiery prayers of righteous men and women avails much. He said when we call, he would answer. I'll show you great and mighty things that you know not of. His ears, the Bible says, are open to the cries and the prayers of the righteous. Step up your game, men and women of God. Step, it's time to step up your game. Glory be to your name, O oh God. God bless you. Be with each and every one of you until next time.